years since uh, the uh, drug test came back positive and now everything's been resolved. How have you dealt with that? Um, uh, I mean, it, you know, I mean, definitely took some time, you know, because, um, you know, just like I said, I mean, you know, we have a... Tr we just have a you know tremendous team, and we know every you know, you know what I mean just everything we did was you know just by the book. So you know we just basically had to prove that now you know it's the past now now we're moving forward, and we have a lot of great fights ahead of us. Um, you know um, we did have this fight on um, November 24th, and and um, and uh, you know everybody's excited about it. I'm excited about it, and um, I believe that the long wait um, the long wait is over. So now it's time to get back to work. Now, how have you dealt with that? Because it's in the forefront now of boxing with just what, just what happened this past weekend with Eric Morales. So, you know, boxing once again has to deal with it. How did you deal with it? And the fans who, you know, are, are unforgiving when it comes to that, especially with social media and all that. Exactly. exactly. I mean, like I said, it is what it is, man. It's just the fact that... Um, with everybody else or a lot of people who got caught in, uh, you know, with like a positive situation, you know, something that they couldn't prove or they got suspended or things like that, you know, it should tell you, I mean, you know, situation happened in a good two, three months right after, now we're right back in action, you know, so we had to go and just take all the right steps and, and, and just to make sure and just to prove everything, everything was legit. Um, but, um, you know, as of right now, like I said, you know, I, right there's the past, and now it's just time just to move forward with everything. Moving forward to a 13-month inactivity, which comes to end against Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Yeah. What can fans expect from this fight from Andre Berto? I'm excited to fight, man. They know every time I step in there, it's a, you know, it's a bomb burner. Every time. Every time, you know, I'm going to come in there with a lot of power, a lot of speed, um, and I'm going to come... I'm gonna come to fight every which way, so so they know. Um, I know for a fact, November 24th is gonna be an exciting fight. Um, you know, Robert Guerrero. I know he's gonna come to fight. Um, you know, if he doesn't, you know, it is what it is. We're gonna come in there, come in there, and try to do our job, and try to take that WBC home. And when you look at uh, your opponent on the 24th, what concerns you about him? I mean, he's a southpaw, it's a fifth southpaw you face in seven fighters. So, is that good? Is it bad for you? What, how do you see that? I mean, I'm getting used to him now. You know, that's my fifth South I've been fighting him back to back, man. But, um, you know, but hopefully this is my last one. Um, because I pretty much, you know, yeah, damn near fought every one of them in the, you know, in the division. So, um, like I said, I'm looking forward to just, to, you know, I mean, I'm looking forward to fight night. And, and he doesn't look, it doesn't matter what he brings to the table. We're going to be ready for it. Thanksgiving weekend, is it ironic that, that you get to finally get back in the ring on Thanksgiving weekend? Thanksgiving weekend, you know, I'm going to have to let it all hang out because he's, I mean, like they're taking my, my, Thanksgiving, my Thanksgiving dinner away from me. They're taking all my good eats away from me. So, uh, you know, I'm going to be eating on uh, November 24th for the eating season. So that's what we're going to do our eating at. We're ever going to pay the price for Thanksgiving, no turkey, and for everything that happened over the year? Everything, everything. I'm ready to let it all hang out. It's going to be a good night. Thank you very much. With Andre Berto, I'm Bernardo Osuna. You're down for the count.